can't fight the Nyx. So, um, I, even that would help, I think, just in terms of the aura, in terms of keeping the maiden behind a little bit. Yeah, one thing I noticed when uh, Snaking is playing offlane with a hero that uh, needs to get a poor man's shield, they give him the rune, actually. The mid one, the CCNC doesn't get the rune. Yep. Yeah, yeah, they did do that yesterday, and they do it again, so he's a lot tankier, especially versus those quills, and look at, uh-oh, Snaking. Well, he, has to, he has to deliver the clarity, basically, if he gets the rune, right? I mean, not the clarity, he has the solid. This is a bit of an awkward spot for Snake King. There's two forms of lockdown here. He can't really die with the four-man shield, but they can do a ton oh, of damage. Oh, they did both sure. at once, it looks like. Yeah. He can just overwhelming us and run away. Doesn't want to commit it, though. Good in middle lane, like you said, dual lane, but Abed, he's doing just fine. 4 0 versus 5 and 3. CCNC is still only level 1 because of that leech from the Nyx. Yeah, because it's hard to land a stun, and mana burn level 1 does so much more. Yeah. But it's gonna be out of mana. One more mana burn, and the Nyx is gonna come from the lane. There you go. Pop that clarity. So where does he go now? It looks like he's gonna head up top to try to help. He can't do anything lane. on bottom. He just because the lane is uh, pushed, so Stanking will just continue to pull the creep waves. Uh, they don't have any kill potential on that Enigma. Enigma's gonna have a good time. It looks like Snaking might be in a little trouble. He's so tanky, but the quills are those three stacks up. Even if it's just level one, stacks up nicely. I mean, that look. Pretty, pretty easy for Dyer, like Snaking just up there farming and dies. What what they could do is uh, maybe swap, uh, and maybe it could have been better if they started with it. Just Legion with the Dazzle on bottom. You're not gonna harass Enigma anyway, and just uh, let the Nyx Assassin pull on the bottom, bottom lane. Level that way, yeah. I'm actually surprised they're not doing, just pulling it all bottom right now. No, they could even straight up duel if they wanted to. I don't think the Medusa is under yeah. any threat of dying from the Enigma. <laughs> here uh -oh, comes here Bulba. Go. Yep, stun comes in. Stan King is invis though. He's gonna throw out that level one poison. He has a heal too. They want to get this kill. I don't believe he has stun, but they're gonna get him anyways because that two zero one build is so much damage from Lena. Uh, it's like more than doing the one 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 even with that stun. And there we go. Invis rune for Stan King uh, and invis rune for Dazzle. Gets him a kill. Who'd have thought? It's nice. Stack the Ancients here. Both teams have Ancient Takers. That'll be interesting to see. Because they both have it, if one team wants to go steal the other teams. Yeah, and it's that's hard. Awesome. Bristleback uh, kills those stacks early on. Medusa will not have later. split shots until level what, 12, 13 max. So she can't take the stacks and doesn't have enough damage to do it. Yeah, and with the quills, like because of the dire radiant difference, the, the bristleback is able to hit multiple camps plus the ancient side at the same time, uh, depending on where he's positioned. In both like triangular areas with three camps, that's something that the Medusa can't really do at all in the radiant. So, uh, actually, I mean, I feel like I feel like NP, for instance, already favors seems seems to favor dire a lot. Dire, yeah. Lot, and when they have bristle and Medusa, like that just adds to their efficiency, right? Yeah, because they have I who pretty much stacks uh, all the time, and they always have those uh, heroes, Medusa. Sven, uh, they can pull the stacks, even Bristleback. Middle lane? Oh, I think that was a miss up hill on Abed actually. Tried to hit that valve off, couldn't quite get in. Flee? Not a threat to Mason, but he's a threat to stealing this last hit. And the creep actually gets it, the Radiant Creep. One little guy steals the big Seder. You ever see that video with that uh, Radiant Creep? I forget what the name they gave him, but he's just like a part of like everything. I forget, I... You have to know what I'm talking have about. Have you guys man. ever seen Power Rangers, Jack? What are you saying? <laughs> <laughs> There's a clip of this Radiant Creep. It's like a first-person perspective, and he makes this heroic journey. Like he's a part I know of like what you're talking about. he's a part of like three kills and like a yeah. waxing, right? You know what I'm talking I, about? I, I, yeah, I yeah, kind it's of like the Odyssey for this guy. Yeah. That, that was when you said that. That just reminded me that lone heroic creep. I've seen old Cardi. It's not that one though. But I know what you're talking about. Yeah. Uh oh. Here we go. Rotation about Flea is gonna take this gank, and he's like, all right, not even gonna tank it. He's just gonna scout it fully out. I have seen Power Rangers. Smoke Breaker. <laughs> <laughs> My bad. If you want to watch Power Rangers, watch the old movies and the series. Uh oh. And, and if you want to watch someone for... die, it won't be Stan King. It's not gonna be Stan King because he has lived. Watch J4 because he's at TI. Yeah, that's one of the Power Rangers. That's a good one. I can't believe he just lived there. He lived with five HP, a perfect stun by Flea. Oh, bottom lane. They might actually get the kill. What level is Enigma? Level five? Still, he might die. 
Oh, oh bite and he should be dead. Yo, they oh. max range snake on Forever and Bulba. They're doing so much damage, but he has that mana shield. And oh, that snake. That snake. Gracious, I'm choking. That snake bounce just single handedly gave him enough on his shield to to survive. That and I mean Bulba couldn't commit, right? He t he tanked like 400 HP. It's like it's level three. Yeah, it's hit the showers, boys. Let's hit a good game, everyone. And they, they could go right back for it if they want. I don't think they have a smoke. Uh, Jack's old top lane. Old top, smoke. it's on Mason. Can they get it? Yes, they will. Jack really loves snakes. Venomancer, Rasta, this slittering guy. Also, you, the way you talk about uh, uh, Sand King's tail, oh, the tail. Huh? Mystic Snake from Medusa. <laughs> Always that smile on your face. You're on to me, Lacoste. I, I like Whatever. the other thing I like about the. Um, Whoa, what is CCMC doing? He kind of dodged back into that. I mean, Stan King's here, but this is going to be rough. He's no not grave, even level though. 4. Yeah, doesn't have great, but they, they don't know it. it. Here's Flea. Opa, oh, Ravage on 1. That was still on a hasted puck. He hits and no one's going to die again. Which is good for the Radiant, even though they did commit 4 heroes here. That was a big kill top. And Flea's level 4. He found the levels he needed. Just like that shrine. Team Freedom's living with like 5 HP on every single game. CCMC, that was... I, I don't know why he right-clicked the uh, Slarda when he was on top of the hill when he saw Puck was gonna get that room. Could have been real bad. So much shrine action. It is. Can't handle it right now. <laughs> Look at Snake King, almost level 6 already. Mason is. Oh, sun comes up. They need to be careful of the two supports rotating on through. Bulba's been moving around so much, he's still level two and a half this game. Gonna have to eventually find some time to just, you know, be selfish, but here he finds an opening to make a move on the Snaking. A stun comes out from Flea. Is it gonna be enough for a save? No, Snaking will end up going. I think right when they saw he went on him, Stan King had to immediately TP, but maybe he didn't have enough gold, didn't have it up. It would have been rough either way. It feels like that's been happening to, to Bulba a lot, where he gets, like, really underleveled, but, like... They don't get that many kills and he gets a bit under low. Let's con contrast that with like AUI yeah. uh, on the force where he just, he you know, he's like level six at nine minutes with yeah. like two kills like persistently, right? If you want to play good position four, watch AUI. Yeah, for sure. Oh, the Medusa is actually struggling on bottom. Enigma harassing him or her a lot. He has no mana, he should bring some clarity. So... Oh, no. Kind of? Gank bottom by CCNC. He's just showing up. I mean, I think he was going for the rune. Maybe he thought if he went up the hill, he's like, "Oh, I could get a kill." Gets the rune anyway. Gets the rune on the way back. Bulba, deep ward down here. Deep level two. Deep yep. level two ward. And look at yeah, like you said, he's. I mean, we'll pray. He's almost level three. Uh oh, they're gonna get a coil in on him. Snake Kings here. He's gonna press that tech. I think he should have broke the he coil. Waited, maybe? But still, oh! It's good. oh my goodness. Abed can't even pick him up. And look at this. Snake King is just chunking him as that extra ten damage now. Yeah, he should have waited for Coil to break and then... Waited for Coil to break or just the Slardar to stun? But it worked, so... It uh, worked? Yeah, but, uh, <laughs> it worked. Dyer's middle I mean, Did it work? It, it, I believe it worked barely. Okay. Uh, check the dual victory there. Yeah, it worked. It worked. They got it. Give him that 10. Can I check him real quick? Okay. It worked. It worked. Ooh, and Abed needs to be careful. That overwhelming odds could, could have done a ton of damage, but... It's level 2 only. Yeah, it is. Not that he, he doesn't really know that though. Yeah, if, if you don't know, it doesn't really do much more damage if you don't True. know that, uh... yeah. <laughs> But you never know, Nyx could have ran from them the back. Two. Yeah, I thought it was 2-1-2, two, two, and I don't know, okay. Here we go, you are. The rest of TV by Forev, he has his Midas now, right? Yeah, you know, that makes sense, the cost. It's like the Tinker rockets, right? Yeah, you know. It's like, wait, what? He just finished me off with these rockets. He has no points and marks? Like, what's going on? Still so for a successful duel. Uh-oh, he tried to fade it out with quills, and like we said, he, these stuns are way harder to hit than Sand King Lena and even Slardar Lena. Well, like I said, you guys did. Take <laughs> So, I mean, it's Freedom's up 3-2 kills, they're up a uh, 1,000 or less right now. Do you still think they're doing enough? Because it feels like Bristol, I mean, Medusa is obviously really good late game, but Bristol yeah. is super good in the mid. Yeah, but look at the uh, Forever on bottom lane. Yeah. Level 9, 10 minutes in. He's owning. 
Midas ready. Midas to blink. Yep. Notice no mech. Yep. Weird, huh? Who is good at I mean, I feel like a mech is really good on DC because they want to fight that, like, middle game time, but no one's really going to be getting it. Unless we have Dark Series in the game, I just don't see many mechs anymore. True. Uh, 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 mech is, um... Uh... It's so costy. It is. Yeah, I mean, the, man, cool the cooldown on it is uh, so big, that's why that's they... Cool. It was nerfed long ago and uh, still stayed the same, same for a while. Maybe if they felt that they had like an early game timing, we would yeah, see it? Yeah, they can, or... yeah. If, if they have a timing, they feel like they can just run them over. Oh, and here they we can go, go for but it. But between Legion, Medusa, and uh, Lena, like, there's so much like, wave clear and just... Quiet Jack, we got a gank moving in. They're gonna set up a frostbite. Snake King trying to purge it off, but they're making too many moves. And he's gonna go down. Flea's trying to hide within the trees, but they have spotted him. They have a sentry down, but he's able to walk out of the race. Then back in, then back out. All right, they step back out. And now that CCNC and Stan King and more are showing up, this is when DC will pull away. But a successful gank on Snake King. Is that tower deniable, the radiant top? No. Oh, I'm sorry. No. Sorry, Jack, I didn't mean to tell you to shut up. <laughs> yeah, you, you talk a lot, Jack. Yeah, so sometimes you just Maybe gotta get out of here. Yeah, well, at least with that four-man gank from the Dire, Bulba finally gets a, a lane to himself middle, so... Gotta get some levels. He's still only four and a half, about to be five. Lena, getting some farm. What are the uh, ancient stacks looking like on both sides? We got one, uh, one stack right here, a nothing Zero. over there, a little bit one. of something right there, and, and a little one. bit of something right there. Okay, so nothing too big. Surprised they one. don't have more for Bristle, but they're moving around the map so much. Uh oh, she seems, she seems to be a little careful. When Bristle gets a pipe, they have no damage, no right click damage yeah, at all for Team Freedom. Huck, we haven't seen too much movement out. That was a nice gank top. I feel like we said after they have that kill, they need to make some happen. They couldn't even take the, the top tower though. Stan King just oh they're making a move on forever. Yep, and here we go. Oh, he's able to turn around and get the midnight pulse, but the follow-up stun is there, and then the do 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 And that will earn Snake King an extra 10 damage, putting him up to 20, and he's able to fight right back after that pick off in the top lane. The user will need to build as much items as possible, the early ones, so they can actually fight and because they really don't have much damage, they should just try to evade fights. It will eventually come to that one point where Enigma has BKB, Black Hole, and uh, Blink, and Bristol is gonna be so huge. And it's pretty much hard. all on Medusa yeah, yeah. to hit ulti, yeah. And if she doesn't, you're, you're gonna get wiped at that point. If she doesn't have ulti up when he has BKB ult, it's gonna be a real problem. Until that point happens, Freedom freedom do have a lot of potential to find Tempo, like just around the corner. It's basically the combo Legion and they can pick up. Nick's Legion is probably really good. Or Nick's yeah, there is getting possible. close to that big dagger on Legion. CCNC. There's Down the 2-3-4 uh, oh. that you mentioned last time, Grant, like the positions and kind of setting the base. Yeah. Feels a little bit almost like those IG teams of a few months ago. Yeah, when they used to run Vengela too, especially. What are we talking about? 2-3-4? Yeah. Yeah, what is it? Uh, just just those positions on, on the team, like setting setting the pace, using their tempo to find kills each time they have the cooldowns. Um, where you have you have a good defensive support and you have like a boss uh, carry who's gonna get the majority of the farm, and then you're just you just go around pick, taking one kill at a time on cooldowns until yeah, like, you have an edge to get the team fights. Yep, yeah, like mostly like mixed legion this game. If those two are together, you just smoke them with the uh, mix in front. A lot of easy kills, especially maybe on that Enigma. If he lays down the aggressive uh, Midnight Pulse, there it is. Carapace and oh, they're going. Oh, oh my goodness. man, they have found the mother load. We're not even gonna wait for the dual oh, damage on that one. It's too juicy to pass yeah, up. Yeah. <laughs> Can't miss the oh. next stun when he's been running. Uh -oh, hey, we'll duel this one. See ya. And wow, they're gonna be able to. What level is the split shot on your war? No. Zero. Zero. Uh, this, uh, this might be tough to tell you guys. Let's get out of here. We, we have nothing, actually. We have Snake. Did Boba come over to investigate the wreckage or something? I'm, I'm not really sure, uh, but... Wow, well, that is that is unfortunate for them. Yeah, that was... Because, I mean, your Bristle died, which is bad, but you're like, Oh, well, at least there's a little less late game. Snake King's not getting that plus damage than Boba. Uranus Investigator. <laughs> And he, oh my goodness, Legion at 2.6k, he got so much from that kill. He's like, oh, blink plus a little extra. And that's a, 
decent blink time in 15 minutes, he has the phase boots Yeah, well. but uh, they have a blink dagger on Enigma, they, oh, they want to take a fight right now. Yeah, Bulb was trying to creep in from the side. You are skilled ult, right? I, I thought I saw when you clicked on him. Some some don't, or Envy didn't skill till 13, I remember, so... Yeah, one point is valuable, yeah. you don't need to have more than one point until you max out split shot. Yeah, well, and it's gonna be a tough push. Last game we saw the defensive, uh... Bolts by Stan here, not Stan King. Dubu were so good, and right here, Yuar has way too much armor to go on. There is a one sensor board on the left side, but they don't have anything on the right one. The Lee is providing so much uh, info. He didn't walk in yet. Oh, he makes his move in now. While well, Abed's running up, finds snaking on the side, trying to make their move in. Yawar's gonna be forced to pop out the snow gaze to defend him. Coil getting a drop. Nicely done from Abed to prevent snaking from trying to run Black in and duel anybody. Running. He's forced to go around in circles. The freezing field is there, and then the black hole follow-up is also gonna be on the mark. But then CCNC strikes him down with the Laguna to quickly finish off for Red Bull, but somehow living, hiding within the trees and makes it away. Yawar could be under pressure next, as Stanking is super low. Abed jumps in, just barely missed the rift. Stanking steps back, gets off another weave, and will somehow survive. It could have been a lot worse. For oh, yeah. Freedom, uh, oh, yeah. Legion commander just sitting there. I Couldn't mean, do anything. There, you had uh, Nyx Assassin, who was successfully scouting. And he just went there into three heroes. Yeah, that was definitely odd on Snake. Also, also a little bit of premature uh, Medusa ulti, so Enigma just went away from it. They had no vision of Enigma, so he could do a successful black hole. You like mix of skill build? Yeah, yeah. It's good against uh, Bristles, like yeah. Carapace, uh, and uh, good Go against top the lane. Enigma. We're gonna have a duel, possibly. Uh oh, Flea is gonna have to stun if they want this, but. Oh, Sentry Ward goes down right then, and Chronos of Haze comes out, so Vision for the rest of that ult. I guess Snaking just blinked in, and it felt like the stun was a little late, they didn't quite get it. Oh, blink forward on Yuar, they know he doesn't have ult up, Coil's gonna fly, he's gonna be running low on mana here, he's in a little bit of trouble. He's gonna get ulted up, graved as well, but uh, you're probably just delaying the inevitable here, he's trying to run the other way. Ref picks it up with the Eidolons, and... We're gonna try to chase down Stanley as well, get stunned by the Enigma, and he should just get right here by Abed. Yeah. Ooh, steel bomb hurts Abed a little bit, but not enough. And this feels like when uh, Team Freedom should be doing stuff, right? When Black holds down, but they're keeping the pressure up with Abed's a little bit lower cooldown. They know what they're doing. Just waiting for it. He's hiding in the trees. Like his old teammate Jimmy used to do. I like that DC is moving kind of as a unit. There's two ways to respond to this kind of 2-3-4 trying to set the pace. It's either you set a trap for them and maybe bait out a core and uh, counter gank, or you go and kill their, uh, their carry and, and defensive support. That's the other way to take it. Top lane, uh, CCNC might be in a little bit of trouble. Snake Kings get a press the attack, but look, it's your Abed. Duel on the bed. This might just be to save CCNC. Laguna comes down. No, they nice just play pick by it up. CNC. Yep. Nice turnaround. Oh, Coil again. Does he have press the attack up? I don't believe he does. Carefus, possibly getting up for the stun. Abed's no. in a lot of trouble. Nice oh. dodge, though. He went for mana burst. No, not right. So Flea's gonna miss that opportunity. DC will continue to run a train right through Freedom now, and even possibly get the grab on the flea Stan King nearby can't really get close enough if he can get down now no not gonna be happening oh so unfortunate you don't want to tp as medusa to your level tier two level tier two tower yeah and then your tp is on cooldown and you can't uh, help your teammates i mean you can just Radiance walk there with the face Yep. And uh, they're just doing a great job of abusing Bristleback having zero cooldowns. Enigma has that high one, but Bristleback doesn't, and he can just run to you over and over again with, I mean, just forever. Double smoke spot up now by the Radiant. They want something to happen here. Nice play there by CCMC. He was running away as far as possible from the Pudge's uh, banning rift. They just used the Lacuna Blade to secure the dual damage. Dyer's middle tower. I mean, he has 40 dual damage. It's obviously not the greatest, but that's pretty good in this game. I feel they're losing by a little bit. And here we go. Might see a duel coming up. It's gonna be Bulba. And oh, he tried to run. That was an instant kill, and that is now 50 damage up on him. So Lena has blood. Stuff. 54, sir. Oh, he has blood. Level level two. Two. Nice. And uh, yeah, that Bloodstone you were just talking about there on CCNC also complete, so there is 
a little bit of a pushback here from Freedom. It's a little late though, right? Because usually he has the Yules plus the Bloodstone almost at the like 22 minute mark, but he just doesn't have a Yules this time. Yeah, for him because there's not that much action. Yeah. And he was pressured on a mid lane from that puck with the Crystal Maiden aura. Yeah. And that duel feels a little risky because it feels like they shouldn't be able to escape alive from that. Not in a sense. Like you have the shrine there in the tier one still. They might have just been able to like because they knew they were gonna blow him so quick they could just keep you out if they really wanted, I guess. And also, like, these outer towers are all still standing for Digital Chaos. This is pretty important because it reduces the range at which you can send those three to combo and look for pickoffs. Um, the help comes a lot sooner, like, near the tower itself, obviously, like, easier to defend with vision and TPs. So that feel like, feels like it really restricts things, and that's what, what's been causing some of the overextends, uh, I think, from Team Freedom. Yeah. So, they've, yeah, they've lost a couple towers already, and that makes it harder for them to get reinforcements when these smaller fights turn into bigger ones. Oh, Legion is running on bottom. They have info where in the maze, but uh, I'm not sure it's gonna be enough. Radiant using a scan, so you can just behind them. Yeah, for him. No, oh, he's gonna farm that up, though. Well, when you, when you see, they should not use the scan there, because uh, you know something is up as an enemy. Either they're smoked or they're threatened that you're oh. smoked. You know you're not smoked, so they're, if they're, they want to do an action. They don't have any vision on this gang. They don't even have to smoke. There's just no vision. Fred's gonna break down all the trees. Snake King's gonna try to run away. Oh, nice! He gets the carapace off on the coil. That might yeah. end up saving Snake King and flee with Dang. that heads up play. Flee. Walking through the orb with the carapace. That was nice. That, that was cool. Save Snake King. Snake King got a lot of farm. He got like three sets of Eidolons plus like four waves. And didn't even die. It was a heavy gank to avoid. Yamar gets a little bit of time to poke at the mid tier one, but DC have been really good at rotating all the way back and just being there for a lot of these towers. Oh, and Abed with an arcane rune. They might want to. I mean, they have Enigma hole up. Arcane rune puck's actually insane with how much damage she can output. He's actually skipping the Yule Scepter build. Which is on Lena. We haven't seen that in a he while. Uh oh, Dubu, Ferret, both getting scout out. They pinged out Snake King. Ah, oh, that hard stun to land. Shows there. Can't quite get the reach onto Crystal Maid. Snake King would have been ready for a follow up play, but the opportunity is now gone. I like Ferret. You saw him kind of look back. They had almost three heroes there. Like, two back. We saw those two heroes a little bit clumped up, but Leaf was pretty on point. He might have just care if the hole up. Well, if it goes for Shadowblade right now, uh might be good, he can continue the split push, and uh, he has a good kill potential yeah. still on Maiden, on uh, Slaughter, and on Puck before he gets uh, Lincoln Sphere up. Yeah. He can just swap the Yules after, after Shadow, but he almost has to go. Here we go, they're gonna try to finally get that first tower. Doesn't look like Dyer's too, too worried about losing this tower. Zark's gonna let it go, and you are okay. Well, he has the he has the Midas Dragon Lance. Going Scotty next. I guess he just wants a ton of survivability, be able to get off that his ultimate, and really just tank up. He is their frontliner. BKB very very close on Enigma now. That could be very well be the next fight. Could be Roche too if they really want maybe, because Bristle can almost solo Roche with a Solar Crest. And you just have the black hole standing in the back. Uh, Stanking has been just chilling here. Uh, hello? Hello? Wait, what? Test? That was... Pause. Uh, pause the game, is he here? That was... Like, he didn't even run back down his hill. He was, like, running left over to the shrine. That was super weird. Like, if they had a lane ward... Yeah, Lena was doing a shadow blade. Yeah. Maybe they were trying to bait it, but, uh... <laughs> Up on Nate, he's going to pick it up. Lee, almost level 12. I mean, obviously, the ulti is not. It gives Nick's like solo kill potential, I guess, like you said, on two heroes with it. Pit, maybe the Crystal Maid, maybe Bulba, but it's just nice. At least your Nyx is finding levels. Yeah, with the Midas. Yeah. He's going to get a lot of levels. Oh. And we go back to that to level 15 talent, 3 on Nyx Assassin, plus 50 impale damage. The shittiest one in the game <laughs> ever oh. made. Oh, and here we go, smoking. Oh no! And look at Stan King. Oh, he was, he was about to just go back to the lane. He's like, "Hey guys, well, what's up?" But it might be you are. Maybe they wanted Stan King. He needs to be so quick on his ultimate if he pushes. Okay, the snakes will be revealed. They will have that to know. 
Yeah, will that force DC into the trees, or are they going to go elsewhere? I mean, there's a push also coming from Flea through the top lane. Looks like our bud's going to be heading that direction. All the others go inside the pit and get that party started. That's what I said, I mean, all you really need is the bristle and the solar crest, and I mean, grab to stand inside, outside. He'll just be KB, cast old if needed. And Crosa Page is really, really good. Oh, he might know Roche is up because they do that. Maybe they knew they were doing it anyways. Not going to be able to do anything about it, but add some side pressure instead. CCNC is going to work here on the bottom tier two, but Forev has moved in, and there's the black hole. It's going to get pulled out. All solo. Do they have the vision for CCNC, or has he just simply shadow bladed away from the trouble? See you later, nerds. Wow, that was bad. What a nerds, huh? Yeah, wow. That's. That feels so bad as an enigma. Like you, you got off your full. You almost solo killed him while he was shadow bladed. Uh, you had a crystal maiden tipping uh, on the tier three tower. If yeah. Bova TP there, for wider vision, I don't know if he had a TP. Uh, there is dust of appearance plus one more sentry. What if they go to the shrine? Oh. Yeah. Because so ironic has done a good job of having vision for the Nyx assassin, but the Nyx assassin play just gets out of the. Uh, Plus he wasted one Scott second of a BKB. Yep. Which is actually like, and sometimes it's like, ah, whatever. Late game is gonna be five, but when you have a Nyx on the other team, that BKB is really important. No hold. They know this time they have a dust up. They're gonna go in. Cresty and Yawar. Ulti from Yawar. They're gonna try to go in. Will Bulba? He's running away. The duel comes. There up. it is. Oh, he is getting melted. Jack, you were right, they won the duel. He did have Aegis this time, though. They but should still. just run away as fast yeah. as they can. Oh, but they want to save everyone. No man left behind. Bulba's here. Oh, Flea actually oh. stops him from blinging, though. Whiffs it. Takes a ton of damage. Do they have enough? Stun's gonna fly out. This Bristle's going so hard right now. Now they're all coiled up, but Abed, a little bit nervous. Oh, oh big old the the trees. Trees. behind. And Yawar's in a little bit of trouble. Everyone's taking a ton of damage on both teams, but Snake King brings down for us. Snake King goes down to Dubu. And now for Red killing Yawar, Stan King, and do they have vision on CCNT? He doesn't have Shadow Blade for 10, he might just have to suicide. Stun on yourself, try to stun the Spardar. Nice. Yeah, I think the nice first try to go. Yeah, suicide. Five man takedown from Digital Chaos. Uh, certainly the Aegis being a big factor there. They feel like they had to commit so much to get that Mason kill down. They should just start out the fight. Sacrifice one, even sacrifice two heroes, uh, them, and yeah. just run away. Yeah. Uh, they could turn around the fight if Nick's Assassin hit the Impale on the Mardar, and yeah. they just insta kill him there. But he did it's not. It's hard, it's hard to hit a stun on a Slardar who has a. Okay, where are they fought too? Like Dubu, usually the slowest deer in the pack. Is the same. Team is running, get, finds a nook in the trees where they don't have vision, and gets off the great trees. And, and then uh, one of the things about the GC lineup with the Slardar is, and especially even with the Bristleback and the slow, is this is a this is a lineup that you do not run away from. Like if you've been routed in a fight, they will clean up the stragglers with the Slardar as long as the Slardar is alive. Even an Enigma. Uh, they have a lot of catch. Yeah. So if you're gonna take that kind of big set piece fight. Uh oh, hello! Oops. <laughs> I love how you said uh, that uh, good positioning for CM and the ultimate, then Enigma casts uh, Midnight Pulse and destroys all the trees. <laughs> yep. Oh, and dude, making this is the most farm I've seen. Even like when uh, MSS was playing it, I don't think he had this much farm by 40 minutes. He has a blink, blade, no shadow blade flying out now. Or did he? No, he has shadow blade, yeah. He's very farm. Look at. You look at the, even after that five-man team wipe, somehow Team Freedom is still up in farm. I hope he doesn't go for Silver Edge on the, maybe later stages, but he needs a BKB. I mean, you turn around Bristol anyway, you don't need to break him. Exactly, yeah, yeah, exactly maybe true. Maybe later when you want to yeah. just reduce Not his damage done or something, yeah, you don't need it though, for sure. And they have Bla uh, Black King Bar plus Blink, plus Hole Up. They need to be careful with the top tower. CC seems to do so good split pushing. He almost has a whole Shiva's. Gem on Puck, though. So it's going to be hard. They have what, one, two, three in this heroes. And, and now you Team Freedom. I'm looking forward to the game turning Bloodstone. Oh so. my goodness, he did. Will this is going to be so big. He is. It's a duel. Oh, yeah, man. baby. Huge play, but here we go. Here comes Fred. Black hole. The black hole. Oh! My goodness, wow. Rev. Such a good kill on the puck, and then they're all just sitting there. Black holes up. Just couldn't Stop. resist that tasty fish wriggling on the end of the hook. And Looks so tasty. Take the gem out of uh, puck. 
And another thing about not having Yule's right is he had to use Laguna to blow up the Lincolns so they could get the duel. Yeah, the duel. That, that kind of hurt. That actually kills a solo kill potential on the puck like you said now because he doesn't have Yule's unless he gets force or something. Yeah, they, they don't have any solo kill potential anymore, especially when yeah, the yeah. gem is up. Yep. Where is this gem? Ooh, I love the, the S and Y on the Bristleback. Gives him a lot more killing potential just running at people instead of like a, a later harder assault. Hard running in from Mason onto Yuari. It's so quick. Runs Yuari right back. Needs a bike. Kite the round. Does Dan King have a solar crest or am I? See that, but now he just says medallion. I almost. thought I saw it. He almost does, which is huge. And there is a full Scotty up now. I mean, Yuari has been farming. He needs to get some damage now, though. He's going Manta. Okay. It's not the biggest damage. I'm not the biggest fan, but a lot of stuff you can get out of. <laughs> Still got 70 seconds to work without this black hole, so the urgency from Freedom might begin to show here a bit to try to at least pressure, eliminate some tier twos, and just get some more money happening their way. But Brev hiding under that invis, drops down the midnight pulse, quickly blinks the other way, snaking in pursuit up to the high ground here. Look at this. Look at the walk in for the duel, straight up. Oh, but the Lincolns! And it pops out the duel. He's not going to be able to get it. They turn it around, they drop the coil, they're able to get off the grave, but it's only going to be delaying. The inevitable demise of Snaking there. A follow-up stun also going to be there onto Yawar. Mason runs on forward, and this is Team Freedom's game. Crumbling away from him, it would appear. Shame Two mighty well. cores going down. The donkey gets hit, flying back up to heaven. And not even Stan King is going to be saved. Slowly falling apart from Team Freedom that uh, saved from Lincoln's fear. And now they have a black hole ready. And it's all because what Snaking blinked up to the high ground, so he couldn't blink in before the Lincolns, and he just had to run at him. That is a crumble and a half from Freedom. <laughs> Bottom lane, chance to even catch CC and C, who was trying to split push, will also be tagged. He's gonna try to at least turn around and get Bulba, but nope, not even gonna be granted that. Tower goes out. They're just gonna push the base, huh? They can. Will Lena have to? Will Lena buy back here? Uh oh, doesn't have Carapace up now. Could be in trouble. You have to pop the shrine for sure. He's, He's dead. dead. Oh my He's god. Mason does so much now. Yeah. Plunging out. My goodness, we could be heading into a situation where DC are simply one game away from suddenly qualifying for TI. Freedom were looking like the hot team here, but two games now. Things kind of crumbling a part of it. And uh, here we go. Hard move in with a freezing field. Snaking is going to be forced to be bailed out with the grave. Nice stun ball black from hole. Bulba. Eating a lot of damage. But there's the black hole move in. Forev looking to end this game flat out if possible. Stan King barely alive. Trying to walk back it away. Yawar tries to fend them off a bit with the stone gaze. He tags the shrine. But the tier 3 does crumble. And now we see why this hero got first banned last game. This enigma is just pretty much almost the sole reason they're owning this game. I don't feel any influence of Javar in both I of these uh, games, especially in this one on, an egg, on uh, Medusa. Yeah, the one time they got like that nice combo was just on an Aegis. It's, it's kind of the, the limitations of a skill. They're gonna try to get a good front to Laguna. This should be a kill. Uh, it's taking a lot. He's got his back now. It seems like it's gonna be so much, and he moves so freaking fast. He actually turns. Okay. Lee gets him with the level four carapace. One point two k gold. Got Lee him with adds. the mana burn. Oh. Did he? Yeah, no, he got him with the carapace. Yeah. Oh uh, well, an agonim's on Nyx will definitely slow down base pushes, but you're still gonna get a black hold. Yeah, this is a difficult team to push into as long as their heroes are alive. Uh, I think they have, they've all resetted a little bit. Like some of these catches, obviously the one top that led to the black hole. And uh, DC has done a good job of answering that, kind of seeing like how they want to play this with their three heroes looking for pickoffs. So credit DC a lot for that. I also like Mason's item build this game. I think it's been a really smart choice not to build super tank, as you see from some bristlebacks, but he's got move speed and uh, more attack damage. And so he's more of a threat to dish out the physical damage because no one else on the team really is able to do that, especially with the amp, um, without the corrosive haze and uh, the, the minus armor. So yeah. got to credit him for that. Oh my, he has an Octarine if he wants to buy it on the Enigma. This guy is jacked. Yeah, he's... Swole. My man is just working out at the gym 24-7. Occasionally comes to leg day. Sometimes. When his black hole's up. Yeah, I mean, but if you really look at his legs, this guy 
I doesn't really have that's any. That's gotta be arm day. What you think? He's go, he goes You're double right. arm day. <laughs> Jack, don't make me look dumb. That's I do that enough myself. <laughs> he skips legs, man. He doesn't have legs. Oh, wow. Puck gets a Shiva. There's, there's getting more and more team fight. I mean, Lena almost had Shivas. Maybe she does now, but she might be saving buybacks. No, she has it. No buyback. Here comes a move from DC. Smoke up. And knowing that take a decent oh. fight, Arosh is also going to be wait, there waiting for him. Out. I think they're like, wait, that didn't scout out. Roche could still be able to go check, but they don't even care about it, I guess. Hmm. Oh, they're gonna go kill the shrine since they took that tier three middle. Smart play before pushing. Dyer's top five. Now they're gonna go into Roche. Oh, uh, what does Radiant do here? You can't really fight it, right? But you almost have to. Oh. That's how it feels like. Even if you manage to pick people off at the edges of the fight. Oh. Might be what it looks like they're trying to. Oh, they don't have the gem. The puck's not there. Oh, but they. Did they find someone else? Sentry up here on the high ground spots CC and C running across. Unfortunately for him, not the right place at the right time. Such a, a nice center egg. Just like I'm sure he's like, oh, he saw puck go top for yeah. please. Like, oh, the the gems up there, they're not gonna see me, and just having that sentry. So. That was a really nice play by DC. Now they give Mason the Aegis, and he could just be the siege unit, the battering ram, if you will, to push into high ground. There is. It is looking real bad for Team Freedom here. And now yeah, when Yasha, he's gonna have to go for MKB. He needs damage. That's the problem with Medusa. Like, you build her tanky, okay, you're, you're sitting there tanking a ton of damage, but you don't do anything. <laughs> And you still have to worry about Forev, Black Hole, BKB. Yep. I now mean, with the Nocturne Medusa core. has a Scotty, 2.3k HP. Uh, with Midnight Pulse, she just melts because of the, how yep. much HP she has. And it burns so much of her mana pool. Like I said, that's why Enigma was more than likely first banned in that first game and they gave it away this time. And Bristol also went for 50 attacks, 50 attacks. Hit like a truck builder. Yeah. Build. It really does. All the reduction they get for the snot and the goo and the corrosive haze and the uh, assault is I think he like hit two or three shots standing. I like that. It wasn't he hits like a truck. He hits like a truck builder. Yeah. That's a real hit. <laughs> I mean, it felt like he like four shot in Lena, right? Yeah. yeah. It doesn't take him long to get those swings out either. That's mm -hmm. crazy. Legion has more damage than like any other Legion we've seen before, but I mean, who cares, I guess? I mean, DC doesn't care. It's not that it's much. Because damage. for them to take a successful fight, he, he has to duel someone else. Like, he, it feels like he has to duel like the Enigma or the Puck. Oh, but a possible go around. They actually saw CCMT going up that way. Black Hole solo. I mean, they can do that. They know he probably. I don't believe he has buyback. Gets suicide, but no buyback. Probably going to be another Rax if they just push top. But please, trying to push it out, he can't. Oh, those go through middle. Yeah, I mean, they have a Bristol. They can do whatever the hell they want. Bristol with an extra life. This could lead to the beginning of the end here for game number two in Freedom, unless they have some sort of seriously sharp answer. And I don't know if Yawar is that answer. They may not have a black hole, though, but they just really have no means of stopping Mason. Yeah. Well, they're... Not even gonna... They're gonna, they're gonna stay. They have the Aegis. Yavar should just buy that MKB right away. Yeah, I don't that think... There's no point in saving the money for it. Any buyback, you're not gonna do it. Jump in, coil, on the two. Okay, Mason please. already very low. Oh, that Glimmer Cave finally gets his ult off. That Shrine is pop, which is gonna help. Can they at least bring the Aegis and then get out of there? Reset? They're trying. They're they gonna get the melee down. racks, but I think you just let that go at this point. I think it's too late for MKB. I think it's rapier time. I mean, what do you have to lose? If you die, the game's over anyway. Yeah, you can't win if you just lost. Right. It's true. Yeah. It's fair you point. can't fight if you're dead. You can't worry about the Uh oh, and here lost. he is. He gets the black oh, no, hole off no. this time. It's gonna be onto the Medusa. Nice stun coming out on the backside from Flea. They're gonna try to. Duel comes out. They're gonna be able to bring down Dubu. Grave is onto him, but. Hey, he drops so quickly. And look at Mason hasn't taken any damage. He's one shotting everyone. 
he's just running around like a, a crazy man. Perhaps in a little bit of trouble here, though. A lot of buybacks coming from the Radiant side. 30 health regen, level Look at 25. Mason smooth. He looks like a berserk Viking. Look at him. Look at him go. He gets so fast. I mean, what can they do? Almost coming in. Is even Amanda stun? I don't think he did. They should be careful still. They really want that kill, but I think it's smart they didn't go. It cost him so much to be able to stop that. And like we said, with Yuar, Yuar bought back, right? He did die. Yeah. yeah. Okay, I was about to say. Uh, now he just falls like two thousand gold behind, and he can't even farm right now or before because of that reduction in gold. I think it's I think it's Yolo rape your time if you're if you're Yuar. I I don't think they're. He had a cube briefly. He had a cube briefly and changed it right back to FKB. I mean, they realize they have a, a Nyx Ags. They've lost one set of racks, but where does Bristle go from here? Like. Bristle is at max capacity. They're fine, like, okay. We, we almost kind of want to fight. We had to use buybacks, but if we get one good defense, we could turn this around. Uh, I think they're still in this game. They just can't do anything. Well, the problem is uh, you saw if you solo black hole Lena. Then when they came to push the base, uh, the black hole was ready once again. It's a hundred second cooldown. It's back again. With, uh, and he's gonna farm that refresher or freedom. Yeah, for us, just so. Own the lane phase, own middle with his, his good holes. Never really got ganked, he's farmed a lot. Puck now has that. Your shout outs to, uh. Do you give shout outs to S4, maybe? OG, for this. For this build? For this build, yeah. for this Enigma. His responsibility from DAC. Actually, Enigma is uh, from Uranus. Oh! Is that so? Yeah. Like is that what he spawns hole. there? Giant Uranus, black hole? Could be taken to take through the portal. Uh oh, top lane, uh, somebody's doing something. It's actually like, I, I was like, I thought he was dueling somebody, but then he's just dying because there's four dire heroes. And that was that thing I said if your team free him, you have good uphill defense, but you just can't do anything. And Snaking tried to do something. And unfortunately, that means that Snaking is not going to be here for what could be the final defensive team. Freedom. And he bought back, so he's... They've yeah. done a lot of something this game, but it has frequently ended with them dying in response. Oh. Let's well, see what they can do. Stun, nice. face first, Laguna, Black Hole does not manage to catch Francis, so he's going to get hit. The Stone Gates will cancel it out. But he can be pop, but they're still doing decent damage. CC and C barely holding onto his life with the help of the Grave from Stan King, but then he gets dropped. Stan King will be next, and this seems to be all on Yawar. Yawar and Flea, the only survivors here, but it looks like not for long. They are surrounded by four, and Bulba is alone zoning back Flea. And that's going to be the game. Game number two also will belong to Digital Chaos, and they are now one win away from being invited to TI. I think if Snake King was alive that fight, that 